Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. This time we are going to be talking about XCOM UFO Defense, a novel by Diana Duane. This one is based off of the early, the mid 90s XCOM game. So the book follows the story of Janelle. She is a commander at the at a base, an XCOM base in Morocco. And she kind of took it over when it was down in the dumps. And because she did a good job, they decided to give her more responsibilities and build a base in Switzerland. And we kind of follow this base getting, you know, the location being scouted out, the base being built, and it getting up and running. It's kind of interesting that this starts out in the middle of the alien attack, but I kind of like it. You, it uh, throws you right in with one of the missions that the these people are on. The XCOM agents go on like a terror attack, and from there you kind of learn more about what's happening. You learn about two of your main characters, Ari and Janelle, and you get to know a little bit about XCOM through this sort of course of events. So there isn't too much action in this. You get uh, two terror missions, a scout mission, and then a then a base attack. And throughout the course of this, you're discovering more things about how XCOM works. How they go out and they search for different aliens. You learn about just the public cover that they're given for when they're trying to do these things. It's actually incredibly interesting how how she how Diane follows what happens in the game and how she translates that into the book things like covering up the alien attacks are talked about in the book but you would kind of wonder how they get covered up especially when you have a terror attack where hundreds of people get killed by monsters and it's just sort of written off. That they don't explain in this. But they do go out of their way to explain the attack on the alien base at the end. It was kind of interesting to see, because in the game, none of that matters. Like, just, you don't have to worry about the propaganda campaign to hide the fact that the aliens are attacking Earth. It's just sort of implied that that's happening. So they get the base up and running in Switzerland, and it becomes clear pretty quickly that the aliens know all about this. Like, they know exactly what's going on. And they're working against XCOM, obviously, because they don't want XCOM around, and they definitely didn't want XCOM in Switzerland. But you don't really know why right off the bat. What it follows is. So, so how they find out about the alien base is they start doing research into cattle abductions. We're told in the book that cattle abductions have been down across the entire world because human abductions have gone up. So the aliens have moved on from abducting cattle to abducting people and doing weird experiments on them. But in Switzerland, those cattle mutilations and cattle abductions are still very high. So she brings in a bunch of investigators, and the XCOM investigators find out, hey, this pattern and everything leads to something bigger, and it leads to them kind of looking into stories like local legends and that sort of thing. And that takes them to a very nice old lady that lives up in the Alps, who says, yeah, there's an alien base over there. I saw a UFO pick up a bunch of cows and fly into the mountain. And then they scout out the mountain a little bit, and it turns out, hey, there's an alien base, I believe, 20 miles from the base that they've built in Switzerland. It's kind of fun to see that, and in some ways it reminded me of playing the game where you build a base somewhere and everything's going great. This only happened one time, but there was an alien base directly next to where my base was, and it seemed really weird that it was built there and neither of us knew about it. Or at least I didn't know about it and it seemed the aliens didn't know about it. So, yeah, it's, 
that was just one fun experience I had that reading this book reminded me of that happening when I was a kid. It's it's kind of fun when you think about that stuff. But yeah, so they they set up this whole plan of attack and they end up destroying the base at the end. And it turns out there was a spy this whole time. They find out who the spy is and it turns out it was their lead scientist who's been doing like biological research or genetic research on himself and he's been turning himself into an ethereal. And it's really awesome. I love that they sort of incorporated that because you don't really get a lot of the alien collaborators in the game. It's implied, but they're not really talked about too much. At least in the 1990 games. In the later ones, it, it's it's a little bit better, <laughs> at least in my opinion. They do a better job of that in the in the remake series. And the and the book kind of just sort of ends with the fight needing to go on. And it made me wish that there was more. Like, there were more books in this. And if it made me wish it was a series. But unfortunately, it's not. And that's kind of a shame. Because I would have I would have really liked this. Or at least I would have liked to have read more of these. That being said, you probably don't need to know much about the game in order to enjoy this book. But I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. Let's talk a little bit about just how the game mechanics get worked into the into the book. I think Diane does an excellent job of working in the different parts of the game into this book. Uh, in the book, it's told that they can't um, they can't collect UFOs or other alien stuff if it falls into the ocean. So if you're if you send out like your interceptors, they shoot down a UFO over the Mediterranean Sea, then that UFO is lost. And that's something from the game. You would just kind of lose track of some UFOs. And if they did do something like that, you would lose the UFO. It's really cool that that's in here because it was something that was kind of pointed out in the game but it really wasn't addressed. It's not addressed very well in the book, but it's fun that it's in here. You also have uh, some better explanations of just how the medical facilities are set up. Because that's in the game, your soldiers can get hurt, but they're more likely to be killed. And that's brought up in the, bo- in the book as well. Like They have a small infirmary because they don't get too many injuries, and the injuries they get are pretty gruesome. Like, it takes months to get over it. They also bring up just the psychological attacks that are done from, like, the sectoids and the ethereals and any other enemy that has, has like, a mind probe. The interrogations of the aliens is also brought in. In the book, they capture a lot of aliens. Like, way more than you probably would if you were just playing this game. And they work in just how those interrogations and everything work. And that's one of the ways that they kind of... uh, How do I want to put this? How they catch the spy. It's pretty awesome to see that. Just because you don't normally get that in the game. It's just kind of like, okay, we caught an alien. They're going to go ahead and interrogate him. And that's just going to kind of be it you don't really hear about the readouts or the printouts or or anything like that. But in the book, they have that sort of stuff. So that's kind of cool to to read about. And they also talk... I think she does an excellent job of hammering home just how scary the chrysalids actually are. Because they are, like, super dangerous in the game. And she Diane does an excellent job of kind of hammering that home. One cool difference from the book and uh, the game. The book has uh, multiple aliens taking part in the different attacks. So when there is a terror attack, you have like five or six different alien groups that are all engaged. Whereas in the game, it might be just like two. You'll only, ha- I don't think you'll ever fight more than, more than two unless you have a muton one, but that's different. 
So th- there's a whole lot of uh, likes in this game, in this than there are uh, way more likes than dislikes. Basically, I liked everything in this book. I like the way they work in the game mechanics. I like the way they explain the game mechanics. Uh, I like that they bring new stuff in and try to hammer home just how dangerous the aliens are. Oh, I like that they they bring in like a cover story for XCOM actually showing up in these places. So they don't just appear in Switzerland and that's it. They're actually there under like UN backstopping. So everything would suggest these are UN people, like UN officers and everything showing up. That's really cool that they brought that in and explained it. It's one of my... It, it kind of got me all excited and everything, just hearing about that. It's like, oh, they gave him a cover story and everything. This is so cool. I, I don't know why I thought that, but I I did. Um, What else? Oh, the, like, there are just really fun moments in this. Like, they talk about just the downtime that the soldiers have. Because there there is a lot of downtime in the game where you're just kind of, uh, kind of waiting for the aliens to show up. And they bring up how people spend that time just kind of messing around, playing games in the living quarters, or going out into town and just trying to bring in like some kind of normalcy to their lives. Well, they're fighting aliens every other day. That That's one thing I just love. I love that they brought in kind of like that slice of life part and that isn't something that you see in the game because the game is just straight up a a strategy game you're not really dealing with a lot of that stuff the intelligence gathering and finding out of the alien base that takes up a big part of this book i'm so glad that was in there because it gives you an explanation of how they find all of these different things how they work with like the local population, how they take different rumors and everything and think, okay, well, maybe this is an alien. It's not just, you know, some made up animal that lives up in the Alps or some, or like some Bigfoot or a Yeti or something like that. It could be them seeing an alien, like lights up in the skies or weird things you see in the forest those aren't just dismissed as, like, folklore. It's like, yeah, well, you know, okay, we are fighting an alien invasion, so maybe those rumors are aliens and, and not just crazy guy out in the woods who hates everybody and constantly is is yelling at you while he's making his, uh, his bathtub moonshine or something like that. There was just so much fun stuff in this that... I, I really enjoyed it, and I love that they that Diane tried to add some explanation for a few of the things that go on in the game. And yeah, like I said, I really wish this had been a series because it, it is really great. It would have been cool if we had gotten like a uh, a Terror from the Deep book or heaven forbid a, a nexcom apocalypse book even though i didn't like the game i still would have liked to see a book for that so let's wrap this up i really enjoyed this book an awful lot the, it was just so much fun to sit down and read something and get explanations for all of the stuff that you do in the game it was so cool to to just read about the different things. I probably geeked out on stuff that most normal readers wouldn't, but I thought that they were really interesting, and I just thought it was really awesome to, to read about stuff. Wow, that was generic. But I, I really thought it was interesting to read about just like all the intelligence gathering stuff that happens in this, the public relations, and uh, just the way that they put XCOM in here the way that they try to come up with a reason for their for them being there and for what's going on was really great even if the the propaganda campaign <laughs> i think is kind of laughable it somehow fits in the in the game's world that's been created where it just seems like people are pretty stupid and they just don't realize what's happening or those people are kind of discounted in some way. It's 
very weird to see like a whole bunch of stuff added in to explain what happens in the game where the game was not really concerned with like how all of this stuff actually worked or if XCOM was like a covert or overt uh, organization. Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap things up. There are two more XCOM books that I'm looking forward to, but I just haven't gotten around to those yet. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, Let me know what you think in the comments below, uh, if you liked this or if you didn't. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) sorry, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place at the moment. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.